hello. How are you? It's been a couple weeks since I have posted a video. Sorry about that. I'll uh, share what I've been up to in a little bit. But I've been trying to start this video a few different times. Hopefully this one sticks. But it's Wednesday. It's May 31st. And uh, right now I'm running down to the track. Because I got a track workout today. And uh, I'm finally gonna do it. Let's go. All right, made it to the track. And uh, it's high school graduation season. So lots of chairs and a little stage on the track. So just some extra obstacles today. I tried to get into the track on the opposite side <laughs> because it's like, it's further away from the school entrance. Um, but it's locked over there. So had to come by the school entrance, which I always feel weird about. <laughs> um, but right onto the track. I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to. Glad that I was. Uh, today we have five sets of 400 meter repeats with 200 meter recoveries. Um, I just did a warm up of about 1.35 miles, a little bit longer <laughs> than what I was anticipating because I had to double back. We're gonna go do this track workout and uh, hopefully it goes okay. I have to navigate this mat and that stage, but uh, we'll get through it. Track workout, let's go. All right, track workout done. Just on my cool down mile. And I'll have a little bit more to go. I have to do five miles today. I'll probably end my cool down mile around like four and a half. And I'll do another half mile. I'm gonna pick up Snowy and uh, do the last half mile with her and do a little bit of a, a walk with her too. But track workout done. Um, I was supposed to do it yesterday, but uh, didn't. And I'll get into that in a little bit. Felt difficult, but I mean, track workouts are supposed to be hard. Hip flexors are weak and I am working on getting those stronger. I'm trying to lift more often, which is like, story of my life. <laughs> I'm always trying to strength train more often, but I'm really trying to commit to it so I can get stronger and hopefully faster. But I really do feel that weakness when I do speed work. So definitely want to prioritize getting that part of my body a lot stronger so I can run a little bit faster. 5.01 and 52.53, 10.33 pace. And Snowy's joining me for a little cool down walk. So uh, it's been a couple weeks since I uh, posted a video and like I mentioned at the beginning of this one, I've been trying to make this video several different times. <laughs> I've tried to vlog throughout this month um, and I've just been having a really hard time with my mental health this month. Um, and every time I go to start a video, you know, I just don't feel good and I just don't want to film and I've just been letting myself um, try to feel better and not pressure myself to make videos or post to social media. I've actually not really posted that much to social media in the last few weeks either. <laughs> and you might've noticed that, I don't know. I'm usually fairly active on Instagram and I just haven't been <laughs> in the last few weeks. Um, I've posted a few times on Instagram but I just haven't really been feeling up to it over the last few weeks and I've just been letting myself try to focus on things that help me feel better and it's been really tough um, mental health wise uh, and so I've just not been posting that much. The start to 2023 has been really busy <laughs> to say the least. I would say basically for the last year I've just been just so busy between dopey challenge training, the three marathons that I ran in the fall, <laughs> and then running dopey and then going straight into Boston Marathon fundraising in training. It's just been a very busy uh, year, <laughs> last 12 months, and honestly once I got past Boston and the excitement of Boston, uh, I just feel like everything had just like caught up with me um, and I felt very, very burnt out, <laughs> especially when it came to running and posting on social media because that has been 
all I've been doing <laughs> for a really, really long time. So just all around a recipe for burnout. <laughs> um, and I am honestly not surprised that over the last few weeks I have been really feeling it because I've had, for the first time in a long time, you know, some downtime. I don't have necessarily anything I am training for yet. I don't technically have a marathon on my calendar, even though I have a couple of marathons in mind of what I'd like to do in the fall. I just don't have anything concrete <laughs> that I'm planning for, training for, aside from uh, Goofy in January. It's just been this first time in a long time that I've had a pause in my schedule <laughs> and uh, it's allowed my brain to like fully realize the exhaustion that I felt because uh, I feel like I've been putting this exhaustion off for a while <laughs> uh, and it, it just caught up with me and it's kind of resulted in a really challenging few weeks slash month mental health wise. So I'm working hard to recover from all of that. I am feeling like I'm coming out at the tail end of it. I'm feeling like I'm feeling better. Um, it's still very much so up and down. Um, like I said, I've tried to start this vlog a few times when I'm feeling good and then like later in the day or later in the week, I just don't feel good anymore. So it's just like, I'm trying to give myself a lot of grace uh, through this time and just hoping I can find some kind of balance. On top of that, May has been an exceptionally busy month <laughs> and I have an exceptionally busy summer uh, ahead of me. Um, I was chatting with my work friend, Aria. Shout out if you're watching, Aria. Um, but I basically have something to do every single weekend, pretty much all summer long. It's gonna be busy for the next few weeks, uh, next few months. Um, I feel like summer just tends to do that, especially up here in New England because the weather's finally nice, so everybody just like wants to gather and do a bunch of stuff, uh, which is super fun. But as an introvert, <laughs> like I need my downtime to recover. Um, so it makes me a little bit anxious, but uh, it's gonna be a fun summer. So May has been super crazy. Um, I will throw in some clips because I did take clips of like basically everything I got up to even though I didn't do like a full-blown vlog or video for any of these things. As I chat through what's been going on, I'll insert some clips. So last time I checked in with you, I was talking to you about um, some of my upcoming races. So I had two races in the month of May. Uh, first was the Providence Half Marathon. Uh, my main goal for Providence was to beat my time from last year, which I did by about three minutes, which was really exciting. It was a super hot day and Providence is a little bit of a challenging course. It's quite hilly. <laughs> so I'm really proud of myself for being able to beat my time from last year, um, especially with how hot it was <laughs> that day. Uh, I had my friend Avery. I saw her at the start, uh, but I also saw her at the finish. She came in like a minute after I did and we both looked at each other like, that sucked because <laughs> it was so hot, um, but it was a good time. Uh, I really like the Providence Half. It's nearby to where I live, so um, it's nice and convenient. I don't have a lot of half marathons that are that close to me, so um, I like to be able to just zip down in the morning, run the race, come back, and it's still like the whole day is ahead of me. <laughs> I don't have a lot of races like that in my area, so I'd totally be down to do the Providence Half again um, and would totally recommend you do the Providence Half as well. That week I had my 33rd birthday which was a nice chill and relaxing day. My birthday was in the middle of the week this year so nothing too exciting. Uh, I did a run in the morning, got some birthday donuts for myself um, and then Brett and I went out to dinner uh, in the evening. So it was a chill day, uh, nothing too exciting. I personally took the day off um, but you know, Brett still had to work. <laughs> so maybe next year, I think my birthday's on a Saturday next year. So <laughs> maybe we'll do something fun next year, but, uh, it's tough with those weekday birthdays, but had a chill day, had a relaxing day regardless, um, which was nice. And then that weekend on Mother's Day, I actually paced a race. I paced a half marathon for the first time ever, which was really, really cool. Um, I was quite nervous to do it <laughs> because I was pacing the three hour half and I had practiced the pace a couple of times and I kept going too fast. So <laughs> I was uh, a little worried I was going to go too fast for uh, my pace, but I ended up coming in, you know, right at 2.59 and some change, which was perfect. 
Um, and I had a really fun time pacing and I'm actually pacing again in a couple of weeks. Um, not this weekend, but next weekend, and I'm looking forward to pacing again. Um, I'm doing a different pace this time around, but I really enjoy pacing, and uh, I'm really looking forward to like this chapter of my running life. I've been wanting to pace for a really long time um, and give back to the running community in this way, um, so I'm excited that I'm finally doing it. Um, my first attempt was successful, <laughs> um, and I'm looking forward to my second race as a pacer at the Old Port Half Marathon. So if you're gonna be there, let me know. I'm pacing the 240 group, come hang out. The weekend after that, we went down to the Poconos to see my friend Kristen get married. Um, so congratulations to Kristen and John. We had a fantastic time at your wedding. I'm hoping that we can uh, hang out with them a little bit later this year. Um, I know they said they wanted to come up to, to Massachusetts in the fall, so hopefully uh, we can coordinate a, a hangout sesh with them. Um, they're super fun. Uh, Chris and I have been friends with college, um, and we love her, her now husband, John, as well, so congratulations to you both. And then this past weekend was Memorial Day weekend, and we went to um, Boston Calling, which is a music festival that happens every year over at Harvard um, over Memorial Day weekend. And we went on Friday uh, and got to see the Foo Fighters, which was really cool. We also saw the Dropkick Murphys and Niall Horan, um, which they both were also great. <laughs> um, so we just had a really fantastic time. It was me, uh, Brett's brother and sister, Brett's nephew, uh, my friend Sarah and her husband John. So it was just an overall really great time. I have never been to Boston Calling before, but I look at the lineup every single year um, and I would totally go back. Uh, I feel like we would do it a little bit differently. It is like a little bit of a journey to get <laughs> over to Harvard, um, especially for a giant music festival where a lot of things are closed down. You can't really drive down there. You have to take the train. So we've been like chatting about maybe potentially if we do it in the future, getting a hotel and uh, kind of staying down there because <laughs> Uh, I don't think we got home till about 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> so that was a little bit of a journey, but um, we had a great time regardless. So really happy we did that this year. So yeah, that's what uh, I've been up to <laughs> over the last few weeks. So that's been May in a nutshell. Right, Snelly? This summer is going to be really busy too. Um, thinking about it, I have four more races between now and Labor Day. Uh, we have at least two more concerts. Uh, we have one in July and one in August, and we might do another one in August. Um, I have two work trips. Um, I actually just received a promotion, so it was going to be one work trip. Now it's two. <laughs> and we have one, like, family, like, camping trip. So it's going to be a busy summer, um, but it's going to be a fun summer. There's going to be lots to do, <laughs> but that's okay because it's, like... It's the nice, nice weather time, so we gotta take advantage of it. <laughs> but yes, we have finished our track workout, which was supposed to be yesterday, like I said earlier. Totally psyched myself out yesterday. A lot of uh, my mental like health issues over the last few weeks have really like taken a toll on my training. It's just really hard for me to get out and train when I'm not feeling well. Um, and I know that's the case for probably everybody. <laughs> uh, just the motivation just gets zapped. Um, and I know I can like do the workouts that are on my schedule. They're totally doable. It's just the mental piece is a little bit more challenging right now. But I still got out and did it today. Uh, even though I was supposed to do it yesterday, uh, I went out and got it done today. So I'm proud of myself for that. <laughs> My hope for this channel, for the foreseeable future, um, we have Goofy Training coming up. That's going to start up at the end of June, which is really exciting. Um, I do plan to do a training series again. However, instead of doing weekly training updates, I'm considering doing bi-weekly training updates. I really want to uh, do some more reading content here on this channel because I feel like, so my channel name is Riley Reads and Runs. I used to do a lot of reading content and like no running content and now I'm doing a lot of running content and no reading content. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, so I thought maybe I would try to attempt to do at least one reading vlog a month. Maybe do one every other week and then do my training updates every other week. Um, that's kind of what I'm considering. Uh, I do really like doing my training updates because I feel like they keep me accountable to my training. Making content and having folks expecting <laughs> content from me uh helps me and it being like training vlogs helps me to actually do my training <laughs> and stay consistent because I need to film it so that's kind of what I'm trying to figure out my brain is like maybe do bi-weekly training updates maybe do monthly reading vlogs um and then do a different video to kind of round out the month I'll keep you guys posted what do you think snowy doesn't care Either way, there will be Goofy Challenge training content here on the channel because that's my favorite content to make, to be honest. Like, connecting with my Run Disney folks, it's really fun. But you will see as uh, the weeks go by and training starts and as everything develops, I'll keep you guys posted on how everything shakes out. But I'm thinking bi-weekly training updates once a month reading vlogs and then something else that's the schedule i'm envisioning in my head i don't know if you care but <laughs> that's what i'm thinking anywho um we are gonna go get coffee and start the work day um i have like 40 minutes before i need to to log in and actually start working um I will keep you guys posted as I train this week because this is going to be a training vlog. It's a recap vlog. It's a mental health recovery vlog. It's a training vlog. Welcome back to the channel. Good morning. Happy Friday. Snowy and I are out doing a warm up mile. And then we have three threshold miles. So aiming for 10 minute pace. We'll see how it goes because I have snowy with me. And it's hot today, so I'm basically gonna push as hard as I can without totally killing her. <laughs> and then we'll have one cool down mile. So five miles total this morning. Almost in my warm-up mile. I'll check in with you when we're cooling down. Dear Lord, it is warm out. It's not even the warmest it can be. I'm just not used to this kind of weather. <laughs> So I'm doing my cool down mile, I'm like half a mile in, and I'm just kind of walking it out. I did a little bit of running, but just kind of walking it out, letting my heart rate come back down a little bit. But I did two out of the three uh, miles, hit the paces. I actually dropped Snowy off because she was getting too hot. So the second threshold mile was uh, like, 30 seconds too slow so but I was just trying to get snowy home as quickly as possible because she was getting hot so dropped her off hit the threshold mile on the first one and the third one so happy about that um, and now I'm just walking it out we got a little under half a mile to go to get home and rehydrate but uh, summer running has returned. <laughs> I need to start uh, waking up earlier. I'm, uh, I've am i been pretty solidly waking up between 7 and 7.30 just like naturally for the last few months. But uh, I think it's time to start setting some alarms and getting out the door at like at least six, maybe even earlier. <laughs> ah, it's that time of year. Five miles and 55.18, 11.03 overall pace. So I just remembered that it is actually National Donut Day today. So um, Snowy and I, <laughs> she's so tired from the run. We're gonna go get a donut. Do you wanna go get a donut? Yeah, I'm gonna go get donuts. That'll make us feel good. <laughs> what do you think, Snow? Good girl. All right, just went to Basic Batch, which is one of our favorite local donut spots. 
with snow here. I got two donuts. I got a whoopie pie and cannoli frosted. These are a couple of their June specials. Uh, they do a different menu every month. So uh, these are their June specials. They have, I think, like six specials and six that they uh, do every single month, like just standard, like glazed and that kind of stuff. And then sometimes like around holidays and stuff, they'll do like specialty flavors then. Um, so it's a fun little spot, but I got whoopie pie, which they've done before and I really enjoyed and cannoli frosted, which I don't think they've done or I haven't tried from there. So got those. And then I'm also gonna make a stop at Dunkin' because they're doing free donuts today. Um, I was gonna grab an iced coffee anyway, so might as well swing by and get a free donut as well. Look at that deer. Go, 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 go. There he goes. Wow, huh, Snow? You want to go see it? Can't be too close. Can't be too close. No, you want to see it. But... Hello. It's Sunday. <laughs> And last time I chatted with you guys, two days ago, and I was dying of heat because <laughs> it was like in the mid 80s to 90s. Overnight, from Friday to Saturday, the temperature dropped 40 degrees, and now it's been in the 50s. Uh, this morning, we woke up, it was 45 degrees, so New England is drunk, per usual, doesn't know what it wants to do. It's kind of sprinkling right now. I don't know what's going on, but Snowy and I are out on an easy run. I'm pacing another half marathon next weekend and trying to practice that pace a little bit. This time around I'm doing a 240 half, which is a bit closer to my average half marathon time. I usually hang around the 220 area, so it'll be a little bit easier for me to find this pace and hang on to this pace. 11.56, a little too fast. Should be around 12.12. 12 12.07 for mile two, a lot better. So while I'm working on this third mile, I do have a couple of exciting developments for future races. First up is a couple of days ago, uh, the packages for 2024 Disney vacations opened up and we officially are booked for Marathon Weekend, which is very, very exciting. We're gonna be at Pop Century again, which we were at for Marathon Weekend this year and really enjoyed it. It's good to have that peace of mind that we actually have a place to stay <laughs> during Marathon Weekend. I know it's like kind of competitive and especially in the value resorts, I feel like those rooms go really quickly. Very excited to be back at Pop Century and to have a place to sleep between all the miles. Second thing is I booked a place to stay for Detroit Free Press Marathon in October. So that's off my plate as well. <laughs> uh, I found an Airbnb that's not too far from the start finish area. So I at least have that reserved, which is great. Still not technically officially registered for that race because I'm still waiting to get my passport back from the government. But because I am running that through Bibrave, I am definitely going to Detroit in October. So had to book a spot to stay. Now I just need to buy my flights and I don't know, maybe register for the race. Minor details. I know in my what's next video from a couple of weeks ago, I mentioned I may be doing the Revel Big Cottonwood Marathon in September. And the moment I'm kind of on the fence about it, I went from being really confident that I would definitely sign up for it <laughs> to now just kind of being on the fence about it. Just from a budget perspective, like I have my priorities of going to Disney in January and Detroit in October. And uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, I can't confidently say that I can do another trip in September. I also have a work trip in September. So that kind of throws things off because I don't want to be away from home like every week in September. So I know I definitely am going to be away towards the end of September. And I don't know if I want to throw a 
another like long weekend trip on the calendar. So that one's kind of up in the air at the moment. I may look into doing something in November instead, but uh, I will let you guys know what actually happens. I don't know if you can tell, but it's starting to rain a little bit. So it's a good thing we're heading towards home, right Snow? 11.53, too fast. Slow it down for this last mile, Snowy. Four miles and 48.12, 12.03 pace. Last mile was 12.13, which is pretty spot on on where I wanna be on race day. Um, but overall pace was a little too fast. So something to be aware of. Luckily, now that I've had one race of pacing under my belt, I feel a little bit more comfortable and confident in my abilities to get folks across the finish line in time without gassing them out. I used a pace band last time um, and I need to make one for the 240 pace. So when I get home, I'll show you how I make the pace band. But four easy miles are done. Snowy's all runned out. Thumbs up. <laughs> okay, so here are the pace bands that I'm making. So I've already made this one, obviously. <laughs> this is when I did the three hour half marathon a couple weeks ago. Um, beast pacing does require you to wear a pace band or have a pace band like on you. Um, if you're pacing with them. So I made this one. You can obviously buy these online if you want to, but I didn't have time to like wait for one to ship in. So I made one. Um, I had some graph paper. Um, basically, I just put the, the time that I'm looking at and then I write down. Um, you can easily find like a pace chart online for whatever distance and whatever time you want to hit. Um, so I just looked up the paces for a three hour half and wrote down each time um, I should be hitting a mile marker. And this was super helpful. And all I did was I used um, just some graph paper. It's a little bit thicker. It's like kind of cardstock like and some packing tape. And I, you know, uh, covered it in packing tape um, and it could easily like slip on to my wrist. See? And that was helpful. And this is the um, wrist I wear my watch on. So I just kind of compare the time to my watch time. So here is the 240 half. So basically I'll just kind of cut this out. Um, I cut out the entire length of the paper and then tape it up and then I kind of adjust it to fit my wrist so I can slip it on and off. I didn't intend to keep this, <laughs> but it held up so well. It was a really nice day, the day I paced this half. Um, so it didn't get ruined or anything like that. So if the same thing happens for this uh, pace band, I will reuse it for, I have another half marathon that I'm pacing 240 for in October. So I'll just use it for that. But that's pretty much it. Um, you just throw some packaging tape on there write out the, the paces um, and you should be able to get in in this time. Alright, we have my pace band that I'll be using next weekend. All set, again, super simple, it's just paper and <laughs> packaging tape. But now I have one for a three hour half and 240 half. So if I pace these distances in the future, I'll have these ready to go. As long as it's not like pouring rain <laughs> on Saturday, um, then I can reuse this hopefully. Good afternoon. It's Monday and Snowy and I are out on a long run. Monday run day, am I right? Doing nine miles today. I am one mile in. Snowy will be doing six miles. She's also one mile in. Still feeling very rough mentally. It's a day by day thing at this point. Some days I'm really good, other days I'm feeling real bad. I'm trying to think of ways to fill my day so I'm not just sitting and scrolling on my phone because that definitely you know, exacerbates the issue. <laughs> I'm hoping that getting back into a editing and uploading schedule of doing like at least one video a week as well as a regular running schedule that will help with uh, 
you know, occupying my time a little bit more. Nine miles in one hour, 35 minutes, 44 seconds, 10.38 pace. Long run for the week complete. Week of training done. Uh, it was definitely a struggle. Uh, my mental health plays a big role in being able to get out and run and I feel like it does for everybody. <laughs> when I'm struggling mentally, it's really hard for me to get out and run. So I'm really proud of myself for actually getting out and doing my runs for this week, even though it took me uh, to Monday <laughs> to get them done, but it's all right. Four, four runs complete and I'm happy about that and proud of myself for, for actually doing it. And I feel like I, I talked about this uh, when I first started training for Boston, but I feel like sharing this part of me will hopefully help people feel less alone if they feel similarly sometimes, especially in the running community where a lot of folks, you know, lean on running as a form of therapy, quote unquote. Some people in the running community have said, like, if I'm feeling bad, I just get out and run and I feel better. Sometimes that's really not the case for me. Sometimes I get out and run and I feel the same mentally <laughs> as when I started. Sometimes running can make me feel even more anxious. So it's it's a toss up for me sometimes, especially if I'm struggling. So I like to be able to, to share that with everybody because I know there are other folks out there who probably feel similarly. <laughs> Um, and it's okay if running doesn't help because sometimes it doesn't help me. Sometimes all you can do is just wake up in the morning. <laughs> Maybe that's all you can do. Um, and other days it's a lot easier and getting out and doing all your runs for the week is really easy. Uh, this week I got all my runs in, but it was really hard. <laughs> to continue to run and there were days that I, I pushed to the next day because I just wasn't mentally feeling up to it. Like, for example, preferably, I would have done my this run on Saturday. I ended up not running at all on Saturday. So you just gotta show up and do what you can when you can. Hopefully you all are taking care of yourself too. Um, I'm definitely still like a little bit <laughs> off and on here and there, but I know that this won't last forever. I'll get back into a groove at some point. <laughs> Just a little bit knocked off my horse right now, but I'll get back on. But it feels good to be back making videos for you guys. Um, and I can't wait to be a little bit more consistent with y'all. Next week's video will be fun. Uh, we'll be celebrating Global Running Day. And then I have not one, but two races this upcoming weekend. So I'll be vlogging all of that and sharing that with you guys next week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys again in the next one. Bye.